In today's video, I want to show you and talk to you about how you can listen to music offline using Spotify and your Galaxy Watch 4. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and this video is actually a series of different Galaxy Watch 4 videos I've done that show you uh, my top apps for music, fitness, even great games that you can play on your watch and those will be linked down in the video description below. But today I want to talk to you guys about how you can download music in Spotify to your watch and then leave your phone at home so you can go for a walk or a run. Do whatever you need to do and just know that the more music you download to your watch the more storage it's going to fill up eventually you'll run out of space if you stick around till the end of the video i'll actually show you how you can also see how much storage you have left on your watch now before we actually can download music to the watch there's a couple of hoops that you have to jump through a couple of things that you need to know in order to successfully download music to your galaxy watch 4 the first one is that if you are running Spotify, if you've got Spotify installed, you need to have it synced up or paired uh, from the watch to your phone. And if you haven't already done that, or if you're new to Spotify, I've done another more dedicated video on how to set Spotify up, pair it to your phone, as well as use the controls. And that'll also be linked down in this video description. But if you've already gone that far, then the next thing is you need to be using the premium version of Spotify uh, or the paid version of Spotify in order to have the capability to listen to music offline. If you are just using the free version of Spotify, that is unfortunately not going to allow you to do this. Um, but I do want to let you know that if you are paying for the premium version of Spotify, uh, this works on the Galaxy Watch 4, the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. This will work for the LTE versions of the watch as well as the Wi-Fi versions of the watch. You will need to have the watch and your phone connected to the same Wi-Fi to transfer music and download it to the watch when you're going through that process. But once you've got the music transferred to the watch, you won't need your phone anymore to listen to the offline music. You can leave your phone separated from your watch. Uh, the last thing is that if you ever are using Spotify uh, with your phone and you're playing through the speakers of the watch, you can do that when you're streaming music from your phone. But when you download the music to your watch and you're not using your phone, you will need to have your watch connected to some sort of Bluetooth headphones, uh, which I have right here. So those will also need to be connected. And again, if you haven't already done that, there's another more dedicated video I've done showing how to pair. Uh, from this point, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and start playing music from Spotify and then go into the Spotify app and you can actually do that by swiping up and then going into your apps and tapping on Spotify or if you've got music playing, you'll see this little music note down here that pops up. If you tap on that, that takes you into the Spotify app. Now from this point, if I swipe to the left, this takes me over to the menus and this is the menu area of Spotify. You'll see here I've got downloads, my library. When I've downloaded music and I click on downloads, this is where those are going to show up. Now what can you download to your watch? I'm going to swipe to the right to go back. So here I am back at my menus and you'll see here your library. If I tap on your library, I have playlists, podcasts, artists, and albums. You can download playlists that you've set up, podcasts, um, you can also download albums, things like particular artists or specific like individual songs. You will not be able to download right to the watch unless you put them into a created playlist. Now, if you create a playlist on your phone, um, you may need to exit out of Spotify on your watch and go back into it, but eventually that playlist is going to show up. Now, once that playlist shows up, you can see my playlist that I have here. If I was going to tap on something, I actually had like a running 2021 playlist. This has nine tracks. Um, I have an option right here. It says download to watch. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. And I will now, uh, it's going to take a little bit, probably nine songs. It takes, I'm going to say, 15, 20 seconds per song, depending on the length of the song. Actually, this is going fairly quick. Look at that. Um, it'll download those songs. Well, that was much quicker than I was thinking. So maybe 15, 20 seconds to download those nine tracks. Those are now on the watch. And there's uh, right here, you'll see I can remove those 
from the watch if I want to free up space or if I swipe to the right to jump back. Uh, if I go back up to downloads, you'll see here now I have this Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse album downloaded. I have a podcast downloaded. And now here's those nine songs from my running playlist that I have. I can go ahead and click play. And again, I've already got this connected to my headphones. Clicking or tapping the watch there, you can see I can raise or lower the volume. Uh, from this point, I can also skip tracks. Now, if you've got your playlist with all your songs, let's jump back, let's jump back into here. Um, I gotta figure out where I'm going. Downloads. Uh, right now we're listening to this running 2021 playlist. If I wanted to shuffle these, let's say I tap on this song and this song is playing. Uh, if I swipe up, I can see here that I'm in my running playlist and I've got the option here where I can shuffle or I can loop that playlist. And then if I swipe to the right, now I'm back to my downloads, but you don't necessarily have to listen to the playlist in order, you can shuffle it as well. And then at any time you can go into anything you've downloaded such as this podcast, uh, Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, great podcast by the way. Uh, this is a, a podcast that I can see it's downloaded because it has the little green arrow. And if I tap on that, uh, that will give me the option to start playing it. And you've got podcast options here. Uh, I have the ability then when I jump back to my downloads, if I didn't want that particular episode, I can uh, tap on it and then I can remove it from the watch. So downloading all this music takes up space on your watch and I'm gonna show you how you can see how much storage you have left. But before that, I just wanna mention, did you happen to spot Tinker, our little hidden robot? I hide Tinker in every one of the videos on this channel. He actually briefly popped up during this video. And if you are the first person in the comments section to mention the timestamp, that is the amount of time into this video that you spotted Tinker popping up, you might get your name added to our Tinker Ford Hall of Fame page like so many others, and I will give you a shout out in one of our future videos. So to see how much storage you have left, you can just uh, tap this upper right button on the watch and then swipe down from the top of the screen. Go to the settings gear icon and then scroll down to the bottom where you see about watch. Go ahead and tap on that. And then from here, you're also gonna swipe up and go down towards the bottom. You're looking for storage. And when you tap on storage, this is gonna show you on my watch, I have filled up 9.17 gigabytes of space out of my available 16 gigs. So I still have a bunch of room left to download more music from Spotify and listen to some great stuff on my watch. Now, in addition to this video, you should check out my top 18 things to do and know about the Galaxy Watch 4 one of the great tip videos on this channel, just like all the other tech videos that I do weekly. So if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, that little notification bell, you'll get notified every time I release new videos. My name is Jeff, and as always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.